This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Ready, go. go, hit it. Cool, so time to relax after a full day of sessions. This is time for a brand new album. This is <laughs> Blattner Blues. So this is David's brand new album, volume one, that features all the best hits, everything, all the work that David's worked on, including Gradient Swing Time, Pantone Swing, Gridline Serenade, and all the other hits that David has written. So this tip is about yeah. how do you build the artwork for this amazing album of Black and Blue. So this is the, the album art inside of Adobe InDesign. So the thing is, this is the first version of this album. So David is, is about to sign off on, on this uh, deal with me. And so the thing is, I have two versions of this album art. Now, how, how do we work with versions inside of Adobe InDesign? So imagine that you know, you're the customer, so you're like, oh, what did you do? Like, oh, I created this first album, looks great. However, I have an alternative version, so what do we do? We would duplicate the spreads, go like, this is version two, right? This looks a little bit different. And, um, and I basically have two sets of styles for this. So here, looking at these, oops, these styles, so this is version one, this is the album title, and this is you know, volume, and this is the romance thing, and the creative pro. So basically everything has a style, right? So even these things, it's all, everything's created using styles. And I have a version two folder where I basically duplicated all the paragraph styles. They have the exact same name, which is really important, by the way. And I just basically changed what this looks like. So this is one, see, this is basically how it switches around. Now. Basically, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to have different versions because if the customer says, can you move this picture around, I have to do the same thing here as well, it kind of sucks. So what we do is the following. I'm gonna make a system that allows me to dynamically change or switch. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna come in and just delete this spread and only use this one here. Now, I'm gonna use style packs, but I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna create a style pack, uh, new style pack, 45 seconds. New style pack, this is version, uh, version one, let's just say dynamic, dynamic one. Choose okay. I'm gonna get rid of all the dynamic styles in it, and I'm gonna create another one, another style pack that is dynamic two. Wow. Same thing, I'm gonna get rid of all the styles in here. I'm gonna move this and this, come on, trackpad, difficult, difficult. Move it in, drag, drag. <laughs> There you go, and that's it. Now it's just a matter of selecting everything, hitting the play button here or hitting the play button there. It will link the styles with the same name. You select one folder with one version, hit the play button, it will switch styles everywhere. Oh, oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.